Schnitzel's going in for a little surgery. My friend Brendan at Remote Adventure Design is going to do a little work on her. And uh, she'll be ready to go for Descend, which is coming up in less than a month. So, yeah. So this is the before, my old, tired, 1980s sweet interior. So one of the main things we're doing, um, aside from cleaning out and cleaning up that sweet 80s aesthetic, is going to rewire the electrical system for the for the house power. Um, originally in 1987, uh, Adventure Wagon put in this shore power uh, module. So that's coming out and we're going to route everything um, through the inverter and an auto transfer switch and we're going to go with a lithium battery and take out this uh, this boat box. Uh, from from the engine rebuild because uh, it sat for a little while I, I, I do have this this new friend so I gotta clean that out <laughs> um, I'm also going to take out that bit of weirdness uh, and make that better um, while we're here um, there will be a provision for air and power coming in on the rear vent panel uh, thanks to van cafe and I am going to put uh, an ARB compressor and tank and do some lighting uh, while I'm here. All right. I'm 100% ready for descend. Look at that van is completely done. <laughs> uh, well, maybe not. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Uh, a few little tweaks and then um, I've got some engine issues. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. I got like three days before descent. It'll everything will be okay. Van done just in time. I'm gonna spend tonight packing the van and packing the doka, and we're we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> or, or not. Um, as I was moving the doka to the garage to pack it out, I, I noticed there was oil pouring down my dash and onto my center console. Well, I pulled the diff lock off, and. It's coming from the radio. I thought, oh shit. But I think it's coming out of the dash and maybe the hose to hook to the oil pressure. So we're gonna have a look, see. Damn it. Yep, right there be the culprit. So I figure that out. Um, by the way, I didn't do this wiring. This is not my wiring. Uh, no, uh, no yelling at me over the fucking tape <coughs> splices. I also didn't do that, but I'm gonna fix that. Damn it. Moment of truth, I got pressure bleeding down. Oh shit. All right, uh, we'll work on that. And I'm gonna clean this up, cause um, yeah, that's embarrassing. The Doka will not be descending this year. Um, as I started to repair the known dash issues and trace the problems, other problems came up, uh, some actually really serious safety ones. And so uh, I don't feel comfortable in taking the Doka. So again, uh, we're not taking the Doka. We have rallied and um, we're probably going to take my wife's car. It, it It's a Subaru. It's not, you know, it doesn't haul as much as the Doka. But with the topper on it and with it all full, it should be just fine for all of the extra crap. Now, one might say, well, Matt, why do you have to take a bunch of crap? Because I love my wife and I love my baby and I want them to be comfortable. And if I wanted them to rough it, um, yeah, they wouldn't want to do these trips with me. <laughs> so we're taking a bunch of stuff, a lot of water, a hot shower, all sorts of stuff. So anyway. Uh, the Subaru it is. On the road to descend, the van has never been so full or so heavy, probably in its existence. <laughs> At Starbucks, getting some refreshments on the, for the trip. Fully loaded, packed up, gassed up, and we are descending.
pulled right into Dubtown, set up our spot. I got the awnings up, I got the shower up, I got the solar out, and we were good to go. That first night we were met with a beautiful sunset, and after the sun went down, we strolled over and listened to the music and had headphones for the baby. <laughs> The baby loved the music right until she went to sleep. <laughs> There's no wood fire allowed in the area just because it's a tinder box, but every night the propane fires were going. It was nice. This was our view of the Milky Way just over our head from camp. Early morning snuggles with my bunny rabbit. On day one, I had a snafu with the new battery and electrical system, but, but we worked it out. By day two, we were good to go. Here's an aerial view of Descend 2023 uh, from the drone. Uh, you'll see it's a little bit smaller this year than it was last year. And uh, I, kind of everybody, not only the, the sprinters and the buses, but, but also, also in Dubtown. So what is Dubtown? Well, it's a tree kind of off in the distance uh, at Descend on Bend where a lot of times the VWs circle up. And I mean, it's really inclusive. It, you don't have to have an air cooled or a splitty or a Vanagon or a Synchro. Uh, it's just a lot of really great people, a lot of welcoming people. Just there's a lot of Volkswagen fanatics. And this is a ground level tour of uh, the circle and the denizens therein. up early because I got the baby alarm clock, some coffee, and then I took her and we went and checked out some of the rides at Descend. In addition to the sponsored live music, there were guitars and drums and banjos and music kind of everywhere all weekend. She thinks crossing her legs is funny. She looks down and knows it's money. Gets it on like an Easter bunny. She's my I'm never gonna let her go. It's not just our friends and the V-dubs and the people. 
Uh, it's also the scenery. It draws us to descend every year. The, the high desert, it's absolutely beautiful at this time. And everywhere you look, it is nothing but beautiful. Just absolutely stunning. We had some fun in games, and there was even tug of war that uh, Dubtown descended upon, and you know what happened. Another facet of descent that really makes it awesome is the food. People really outdo themselves, you know, cooking and, you know, the, the adult beverages and your choice and selection um, around, outstanding. We had three nights of live music, and on night two, maybe some of the folks from Dubtown joined the Teletubbies and had a little sing and dance party. There were even a couple bars that popped up this year. Uh, I'm gonna tell you that we stopped by this one and it was a big old party. And every night after the music died and everyone went to bed, this was our nightlight. I did a good bit of wandering around during the weekend with, uh, with camera in tow, a few cameras actually. Instead of bringing the digital, I actually opted for analog this year. I threw in my Canon uh, SLR and then my Roloflex uh, TLR. Except for two accidental rolls, I ended up shooting the whole weekend in black and white, both 35mm and 120. Uh, I also went around and took pictures of everybody just as a document of what folks look like uh, with their vans, with their buses, as a yearbook. As there were a lot of those pictures, uh, and too many for this video, I will include a link in the description uh, for the the actual uh, kind of slideshow for all the pictures that, that I took, all the portraits. Last year we left a day early, and so we did not descend into the volcano crater. Uh, so this year, we absolutely had to. It's a must. Most years, the bottom of the hole is an absolute dust devil of a place. 
but with all the rain that we had uh, the second day um, we had a little bit of a mud pit in the bottom and it just became absolute donut central any good mud pit there has to be mud wrestling a couple of people started it and then it was a whole passel of folks just getting muddy and wrestling Our little group had a fine time uh, down in the hole with the day's activities and looked forward to the easy drive out uh, and back to camp. I mean, after all, like getting back home, that's not a big deal, usually. Right up until the point that Jonah and Misty almost dropped three dot off the side of the road and back into the hole. It only took uh, 20, 25 of us to pick the bus back up and put her back on trail. But she got up and back to camp, no major issues whatsoever. Packing up camp and heading home on that Monday uh, was bittersweet. But, you know, we really enjoyed the time we spent there at Descend and getting to see everybody and all of our friends and the adventures we had. And we so look forward to next year. So we've been back about a week from Descend. Uh, this is actually my third or fourth try trying to record this because my first couple I s just kind of stuttered around and then um, the last uh, the last time I tried this I got way down deep in the weeds on logistically how it was run and some things that could have been done better and I sounded kind of like a douche and I didn't mean to so I'm not gonna air that one uh, in in all in totality we had a fantastic time absolutely uh, descend and uh, the folks in Dubtown, man, that's our tribe. We'll go every year. Uh, I know it's super pricey, and we do have some friends. We have some friends here at, at the Oregon Bus Club that they don't go anymore, and they were descenders for years, but they don't go because of the price. Um, I, I get it. I do. I, I think we're going to continue to go. Um, we, we loved it, and we love, we love our people. We love seeing them. Uh, some, some folks we see all the time, and some folks we see once a year at Descend on Bend. So, yeah, uh, loved, loved it this time. Even though the weather didn't cooperate the whole time, uh, we, we had a fantastic time. We really did. Um, some things we would do differently. We took too much shit. <laughs> and 
I know in the first part of the video I talked about like why we were gonna take a bunch of stuff and like why we were gonna take the Doka and ended up taking the the Subaru uh, in the end um, we still took too much stuff uh, I took too much water um, I didn't take uh, take enough uh, like tables I had one table I needed another one maybe um, and I took too much propane uh, I took two bottles of propane like we didn't even go through a tenth of one bottle so I think that like one small 20 pound bottle of propane would fire us up for cooking and, and our hot shower and anything else washing dishes for an entire week and a half or two weeks so I'm gonna cut that down um, I maybe took too many tools because uh, this was really the first big trip after the engine rebuild uh, I had a full toolkit and I mean I'm talking I had every tool and every spare part to rebuild this entire thing on the ground if need be uh, torque wrenches uh, I, uh, sockets in order to do the front drive shaft I mean crazy amounts of stuff like maybe 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 not take that many tools and that much stuff um, also our bed uh, we got to do something about that uh, it was it was not not fun with me and my wife and the baby um, all together we were warm enough but uh, it wasn't comfy enough and you know for just me I, I hadn't really noticed but having to sleep on my side with all of us it's not comfy enough so uh, there's a local phone place here in Eugene and they'll do custom layups mostly for like boats and stuff but they'll do a four inch uh, mattress with like two inches of of really rigid foam and then an inch of um, medium foam and the memory foam on top of that so uh, I'm gonna get that uh, and have that laid up in blocks so that it stores in the back there and um, it's always ready to go and it's a comfortable bed uh, when one or three of us spend the night in the van uh, other than that no I the solar electrical worked, worked fantastic the upgrades that, that I did to the van um, for both the cabinetry and uh, and the electrical fantastic really was uh, I couldn't be happier the shower awning I added the hot water system fantastic uh, no no complaints there I think all of the money there was spent wisely and it ensured uh, it ensured my wife and and the new baby to have uh, to have a great descent again this year I guess in closing uh, we're gonna be back at Descent for 2024 uh, we will absolutely be there I don't know if we're gonna take the the van uh, down into the hole or not I'm still kind of sketchy on that um, hopefully the Doka will go next year and uh, we'll take the Doka in the hole I'll, I'll jump the Doka I'm sure but maybe not the van <laughs> anyway uh, so thanks thanks for following along I super appreciate it um, uh, my biggest fan in the world um, is uh, Mr. Ian Flood, and uh, Ian got a tour of the van uh, right before Descend, and uh, of all the work that, that was going on, and so hopefully he, uh, he likes what we did, and uh, yeah, uh, I really appreciate uh, you guys following along. I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this, this film and this video. My hope is that it's better than my film last year, and uh, I also hope that, you know, look, if you're... If you're in Oregon or Northern California or Washington or Idaho or Arkansas or Pennsylvania, wherever you are next year for Labor Day, think about coming to Descend. Like really, really, um, it's uh, it's a good time. It really is. Good people. So thanks again. Appreciate it.